Hey, this is Jeremy from Old Line Woodwork. Today I'm going to show you how I made this baseball display case. Stick around and I'll teach you how to make one just like it. I started with a piece of five quarter hard maple that was about five feet long and five inches wide for this project. I cut it down to lengths of 17 inches, 7.5 inches, another at 7.5 inches, and then two more at 8.5 inches. Together, these will make the outside frame of the display case. Once got the length, I ripped them to rough width to give myself a straighter edge for jointing. I got out my jointer and began to prepare each piece. First I got a flat face and then a flat edge on every piece. I then ran each one through the table saw to get them to their final width of 4 inches. Then I laid them out in their configuration. It didn't go well. I didn't cut these long enough. They should have been 12 inches, I cut them at 8 and a half. Measure once, cut twice. After a quick check of my wood storage, I didn't have any more maple on hand, so I would have to run to the store tomorrow. I packed up my shed, and then I caught it for the night. The next day I recut and rejointed the pieces that were too short. Then I got out the planer and finished squaring up the boards for the outer frame. Once all the pieces were exactly one inch thick, I put away the planer. I roughly marked the angles that I would have to cut to make sure I didn't cut anything backwards. The bottom point would be cut at 45 degrees on each side, as would the top corners. The middle corners will get cut at 22 and a half degrees. Using a digital angle finder, I set the miter saw to 45 degrees for the initial cuts. Then I made those 45 degree cuts before resetting the angle to 22 and a half degrees and completing the final four cuts. Look at that corner, isn't it great? With all the miters cut, I used a scrap piece of 2x3 at the table saw to make test cuts for the inset back panel, made of 1 quarter inch plywood. Once the saw was set properly, I cut a rabbit into each of the frame pieces. Then I cut a groove an eighth of an inch thick, about a quarter inch from the front of each frame piece. This will hold the plexiglass in place that will provide UV protection for the baseballs. Next, I cut the back panel to width and length. Then I measured and marked off for the point, before cutting off the corners. After a quick test fit, it was off to the bandsaw to cut the plexiglass. Just like with the back panel, I cut to length and width, and then I cut off the corners. With the plexiglass cut, I did another test fit to ensure that it all fit together correctly. I then marked off where the pigs would go that would hold up the shelves. After marking, I drilled out the holes for the quarter inch dowel with a quarter inch brad point drill bit. I bet you thought I was going to use a half inch bit, didn't you? I then sanded the inside pieces of the frame, as this will be the last time I can easily sand the inside. Did you catch my dad reflexes right there? Once it was sanded, I lined up each piece of the frame outside up, 
and then tape them together using painter's tape. The tape will be the clamp that holds it together when the glue sets. I flipped the line over and applied glue to the inside of each miter cut. This isn't the strongest joint, but the rear panel will provide the additional stability that will help keep the joints from splitting. With each miter glued and taped, I then applied glue to the rabbits in the back and then dropped in the panel. Then put everything I had on hand on top of it to weigh it down while the glue set. While the glue was setting up, I cut the quarter inch dowel down to one inch wide pieces for the shelf pegs. After giving the glue about six hours to cure, I took off my weights and got ready to cut off the front. I originally planned on using the bandsaw to cut off the front, completely ignoring that I didn't have nearly enough resaw capacity. So then it was up to plan B. I went over to my table saw. I cut off each side before rotating and cutting the next until the front came off. With the front now separated, I marked where the magnets will go on each side to hold the cover to the frame. Using a self-centering doweling jig, I drilled shallow holes for the magnets. I did this in both the main frame and the cover. Then, using super glue, I attached the magnets to the frame. I repeated the same process for attaching the magnets to the frame cover. I made sure that the polarity of the magnets would attract them to each other so that it would actually stick. The five magnets had plenty of holding power, so there shouldn't be any issues with the cover coming off. I measured how long the shelves would need to be that hold the balls. After measuring, this time correctly, I cut them to length. I milled up the shelf pieces to be flat and square, just like I did with the board juice to make the frame earlier. I didn't show all of this because if you want to see it, just rewind back a bit and pretend I'm working on the shelves instead of working on the frame. The shelves are a half inch thick, so I re them to the right thickness at the bandsaw. Using the miter saw, I cut the lower shelves ends at 45 degrees so that I could sit in with the point. I gave the shelves a quick sand before drilling the holes out that would hold the baseballs. I measured and marked for the holes, gapped at three and a half inches on center. Then, using an inch and a quarter Forstner bit, I drilled out the holes.
After drilling the first hole, I made sure it would hold a baseball. Yep, hold it. After I finished the first shelf, I used it as a template for the other two. Using a quarter inch roundover bit, I broke the edges on the holes for the shelves. That way the ball would sit a little more flush. After one final sand off camera, it was time to add the finish. For a finish, I used boiled linseed oil. I applied a little bit to a rag before rubbing it all over the frame and the cover, making sure to stay away from the plexiglass front. All you have to do now is load it up. And so that's how I made this baseball display case. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would leave me a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.